keine andere Religion bietet so viel, also bringt so viel Leid mit sich für die Frauen. Verstehst du, was ich meine? Weil das tief in den Islam verwurzelt ist. Welche Religion lehrt denn, dass man seine Frau bei Widerspenstigkeit schlagen darf? Koran Sure 4,34. Ist das Gott? Ist das Gott, der sagt, geh und schlag deine Frau nur, wenn du befürchtest, dass sie widerspenstig ist? Dann aber ticken wir noch alle hier richtig, oder was? Hättest du das wenigstens mal erwähnt? Was ist das? Bist du ein Saatfeld, Suche 2, 223, wo der Mann hinkommen kann, sich befriedigen an dir und dann wieder weggeht? Wie so eine Dorfmatratze, oder was? Was ist das bitte? Ist die Frau nicht mehr wert im Islam? Ist das ehrenhaft für eine Frau, eine von vier Frauen zu sein, Suche 4, Vers 3? The second is polygamy. Both Islam and Judaism accepts polygamy. According to the Torah, from the Torah perspective, a man is allowed to have more than one wife at the same time. Although, however, some rabbis uh, re not recommend not to have more than four, and some rabbis don't recommend to have even more than one. But the truth is, from the Torah perspective, a man is allowed to have more than one wife. In fact, my great-grandfather, his brother, had two wives. You know, because one of, the, one of the wives, the first one, couldn't have children for, I think, ten years or so. And then she herself found him another wife, so that, you know, he could have children through that other wife. So both Islam and uh, Judaism, uh, uh, you know, has a similarity in that. Although in Judaism, by the way, uh, there is no limitation for a regular man, uh, as long as he can afford it. You know, if he can afford more than five wives, technically he could. However, uh, a king, a Jewish king, has a limitation. Uh, so that's, um, I'm not sure if that's the um, same in Islam or not, but um, I know this about Judaism.